Hey guys, uh, welcome to your Pisces versus all 12 signs reading for May 2023. Um, so this reading could be about anything. Uh, first, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys. We could be talking about money here, love, uh, personal growth, spiritual growth, healing. And then we'll finish off the read uh, with you versus all 12 signs. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, all right? So Pisces, tell me about Pisces here. What is going on with Pisces? What's surrounding Pisces? What does Pisces need to know for May 2023 for Pisces? of pentacles here in the three of wands you guys are really focused on your future here when it comes to your finances some of you guys could save be saving money here some of you guys could be you know putting uh, 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 putting money away in like a high yielding savings account or putting away putting it away in like an ira or something like that or a 401k but i feel like there's a strong investment in your future right now here uh pisces okay capricorn taurus virgo with the queen of pentacles here we have the Queen of Cups, all right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Emperor, Aries energy here. Okay, seems like, you know, one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like right now you are very much in control of your emotions here, okay? I don't know, maybe, you're, maybe you have feelings for someone and they're, not, they're just not really showing it or sharing it, uh, or that it could be the other way around, okay? So, um... Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Emperor, Aries energy here. We have the Seven of Swords. And the Nine of Wands here. Um, uh, you guys could be taking on a lot right now, okay? Um, you know, one of the things I'm getting here with the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands, some of you guys are not looking after yourself when it comes to your... Uh, to your health here uh it could be a situation with a nine of wands here is that you guys are really 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 burnt out right now okay we have a star card on the bottom of the deck so i don't know if you guys are focusing on your healing or that you guys are just really connected to the to the divine and the universe right now all right tell me about the queen of pentacles Nine of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Seems like you guys are do juggling a lot when it comes to work right now. You guys might be doing a lot or that. You guys are really burnt out here with the Nine of Wands. You know, with the Seven of Swords, you know, it's kind of like almost like a self-sabotaging energy because I feel like someone here keeps pushing themselves when they don't need to. Uh, with the Nine of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, you know, the Nine of Cups is an indication of contentment and happiness. It could be that you're really good or happy where your life is at right now. But I also feel like you could be doing a lot here, uh, Pisces, okay? Tell me about the Queen of Cups here. With the Knight of Cups. Someone here could be falling in love with you here with the Knight of Cups. Or that you could be falling in love with somebody here, okay? One of the things I'm getting here is that Pisces, you could be having some sort of major breakthrough here uh, surrounding someone right now in your life. Uh, perhaps this person could be close to you. Maybe this person's not. Uh, it could be a situation that you're getting to know this person here. Nine of Pentacles here in a two of wands. Could be a situation that you're making a decision on something here. You know, it could be making a decision regarding work here. It could be making decisions, you know, regarding a, a, a relationship here. We have the Emperor to the Empress here. This is a true pair. This is a soulmate connection here, uh, um, Pisces. 
but it could also be an indication that you might be in the driver's seat here where you're making a lot of decisions here regarding work okay uh, perhaps you are a boss uh, perhaps people do run to you uh, or people communicate with you on a lot of things when it comes to work uh, but with the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles here this is an ind indication that i feel like in your life right now you're pretty content with where you're at right now um you know and like i said you could be go going through or having some sort of major breakthrough here with like a romantic interest or something like that or with someone here that's interested in you okay uh let's see Pisces versus all tall signs. 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 You know, if this connection or that this romantic interest that you're interested in or that they could be interested in you or it could be mutual, mutual interest here, I do feel like this is a very high conscious um, and it could be a very healing connection here, okay? Um, so let's see, Aries, uh, Pisces versus an Aries here. We have the Six of Cups here and the Emperor, okay. Um, this is someone from your past. Whoever this is, this is an individual that could be missing you or they're, they're, they're trying to uh, reconcile here with you. We have the Emperor here two times, okay? So Aries energy with the Emperor, which is Aries, yeah. So uh, that was Aries versus Pisces, Pisces versus Aries. Uh, Pisces versus a Taurus here with the Eight of Wands here and the Seven of Cups. Um, if you're dealing with the Taurus here, Pisces, this is an individual that's confusing the crap out of you. Uh, whatever this person's saying, they don't make sense at all. You're just confused and very lost, okay? You might think this person's delusional. Uh, Pisces versus a Gemini here. We have the Knight of Pentacles here and a Three of Cups here. Uh, could be a situation that this Gemini is coming in to sort of like reunite with you or something like that, okay? Uh, or that this is an individual that's having a really good time getting to know you or something like that, all right? Uh, Pisces versus a Cancer here with a Sun card here and Judgment. Um, whoever this is, this Cancer is having a major, major, major um, spiritual awakening here. Okay, uh, it could be an indication that this person might be realizing that this per you make this person happy and this person wants to reconcile here with you. Uh, Pisces versus a Leo here. We have the devil and the queen of swords. Whoever this is, this is an incredibly toxic individual, incredibly abusive here. This person has a razor sharp tongue here and that says very in insensitive things towards you. Okay, uh, Pisces versus a Virgo. We have the Hangman and the Ace of Swords. Um, this person's definitely seeking some sort of perspective here regarding this connection here with you. Uh, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this is an individual that's kind of like surrendering control and just allowing things to unfold that uh, unfold the way that it should. Okay, uh, Pisces versus a Libra here with the Nine of Cups here and the Five of Swords. This person wonders if they truly deserve you okay because they're definitely seeing you as their wish fulfillment this person's in love with you uh pisces versus a scorpio here we have the eight of cups here and the eight of swords um i feel like this person doesn't really know what to do yeah it's kind of like do i stick around or do i go do i stick around or do i go uh this person's definitely in some sort of fear consciousness here it's like they want to walk away but they're scared to walk away from you um Pisces uh, versus the Sagittarius. We have the Four of Wands here and the Nine of Swords. Um, you're in a very stressful situation with this person, okay? It's inc incredibly stressful. It's incredibly intense. Could be dealing with the Twin Flame here. Um, but I, I do feel like maybe this person does suffer from some sort of mental health thing here uh, with the Nine of Swords, okay? <coughs> uh, Pisces versus the Capricorn here. We have the Hierophant here and the Nine of Cups. Uh, this person's making a strong offer towards you when it comes to commitment. And I feel like this person's in love with you, okay? Uh, Pisces versus Aquarius. We have the Strength card here and the King of Cups. This person has some very strong feelings here towards you. Uh, this person's lusting over you. Uh, this person's in love with you too, okay? Uh, Pisces versus a Pisces here with the High Priestess and the King of Swords. Um, this person doesn't really speak a lot. This person has a lot of secrets here. Um, uh, it could be that they, they have hidden emotions here towards you, Pisces, but they're not sharing it. Uh, they're a bit emotionally closed off, emotionally aloof here, and they don't really talk a lot, all right? So Pisces, 
hope this was helpful hope this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye